Hello, hello! Welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn, and today I'll be playing along with Kendra's card challenge. I am featuring sketch number seven on my card today, and I will be using some products from Crafting Kimmy, which is one of our amazing super sponsors. They sent me some products to craft with and share with you. So big, huge thanks to Crafting Kimmy, and in fact. My video is part of a super sponsorship hop and in the description box below you'll find a link to a playlist where everybody else who's on this hop will also add their videos. That way if you want to hop along for a chance to win a prize from Kendra, you can just set that playlist on autoplay and when one video ends the next one will begin. So it makes it really easy for you to watch all of our videos and if you're not sitting down and watching them all in one go just come back to that same playlist and you can pick up right where you left off. And what I'm doing is using some of this um, really lovely luster wax. I had this pot for probably over a year before I even opened it to use and <laughs> one of the things that got me to open it was uh, Tracy who is not afraid of color here on YouTube she actually told me that she loves the smell of it and, <laughs> and that got me curious so I opened it to smell it <laughs> and it actually smells really nice I do I like the smell of it as well but what I was pleasantly surprised to learn is that it's super creamy and even though it um, hadn't been open for probably over a year and even after having opened it just that one time to uh, do a little sniff test, I didn't actually use it for a few months after that even. And it's still really creamy, super smooth. You can stencil um, with it beautifully. And because it's creamy, it's got a rather um, like thick, it's not a watery texture. You don't really have to worry too much about pixie spraying the back of your stencil because it's um, it doesn't really it doesn't really kind of seep under the stencil and it's just very easy to work with. I really enjoy working with it. I've also used it on uh, 3D embossed um, panels, dry embossed panels, where you just kind of want a little bit of that hint of shimmer on the raised portions of an embossed panel. And for an application like that, I just used my finger and it worked really, really well. So um, very, very fun. And the Luster Wax, kind of as the name would suggest, does have this beautiful shine to it, which I, I love. And it's going to work really well because for the little critters that I colored up off camera, it uh, it's going to go really nicely with them because the polar bear's white. I've got a um, gray mouse and then a black penguin. So the silver I think is going to fit in with this color palette really nicely. And I, I didn't know exactly what papers I would use or what else I wanted to add for this card, but I did color these critters up in sort of my favorite color combinations, which is teal and pink. <laughs> so really, really love how, how everything really came together. And I'm putting together sketch number seven here. And as you can see, I was playing around with different configurations of sketch seven. As it's shown in the printable, it is um, a landscape oriented card. But for my critters, and in order to be able to see all of them completely, I thought this would fit a little bit better as a portrait-oriented card. So you are always free to make those types of modifications to um, your KCC sketches and play along. And you would still qualify for a chance to win some amazing prizes from our prize sponsors and from our super sponsors. If you're not familiar with KCC, what you can do is expand the description box below. And in there, you will find a link to where you can download for free 
the printable that shows you how to cut six sheets of six by six pattern papers and then turn all of those pieces into 15 unique card sketches. 15 unique card sketches. That's one of the things I really love about Kendra's card challenge is because you get so, so many different ideas. And for me, card sketches have become something that I really appreciate having in my toolbox because if I'm at a loss for what to do for a card, I often turn to card sketches because it's a way to just get started with your crafting and you might not know anything else that you want to do for your card but at least you can start by picking some papers picking some colors and cutting the pieces and so i find that kendra's card challenge the free printable that you can download is really a fabulous resource um but if you actually play along and you make a full set of 15 cards then you can enter it into the official entry album over in the Kendra's Card Challenge Facebook group and you can be in for a chance to win sev one of several prizes throughout the quarter. So this challenge that we're on right now is KCC 16 and it runs from October 1st to December 31st and each month you have an opportunity to enter one set of 15 cards. So we're still in the month of November. So by the end of November, you can get one entry in. And then if you want it to play along again in December, you can enter a second set of 15 cards. And then that just gives you more opportunities to win prizes because Kendra picks prize winners every single month. Some of our um, company sponsors actually donate prizes to be given out monthly. Some of them um, give prizes to be given out quarterly. So there's lots of prizes and lots of chances to win. And Kendra herself gives away a lot of prizes as well. So really fun. And of course, um, besides the opportunity to win some fabulous prizes, you get this amazing resource as well. So really, really awesome. And um, if you do play along, just keep in mind, feel free to adapt these uh, card sketches to your preferences. So if you need to tweak them a little bit or you tend to like larger or a different size card, feel free to adapt them to suit your uh, needs and to suit your design aesthetic. As long as you're inspired by the sketches and you make a full set of 15, um, you can enter for a chance to win. The other thing that I really like doing with the uh, KCC sketches is you don't always necessarily have to start with six full sheets of six by six pattern papers. So many of these sketches are really fabulous scrap busters. As you can see here, there aren't too many um, pieces of pattern paper that I've used. In the sketches it's shown, it's those three yellow squares and then that green banner and the red banner. Those are the pattern papers that you would need if you were to cut them from your original 6x6 papers. But I actually just used some scraps that I had left over from an earlier card making session and it just happened to work perfectly. Also, when you look at the sketches as they are shown or as they are illustrated in the printable, where you see white, gray, or black, those are areas that you can really um, choose whatever you'd like. So for example, I chose um, gray solid color cardstock as my matte layer at the very bottom. And then I chose to stencil onto a solid color cardstock for my second layer. And I matted the uh, yellow blocks of pattern paper with just some solid color cardstock. And then I actually switched things around a little bit because in the sketch, you can see that there's in the banners, there's three banners shown, two of them pattern papers from the original six sheets of six by six. And one is a gray banner, meaning you could put in whatever you'd like there. And I actually um, used two pieces of solid color cardstock and one pattern paper. But you can tell that my sketch was 
inspired by the original one shown in the card challenge. And so it if you need to make modifications like these, feel free to do that. It's definitely a valid way to play along with Kendra's card challenge and still qualify for the prizes. But this is how I like to use sketches. I like to use them as a starting point and then at some point my creativity will kick in and the card will go places that it needs to go to fit the focal images and the sentiment that I want to use. I hope you enjoyed my card today. Don't forget to expand that description box for all of the details for the giveaway, for the hot playlist, and how to enter Kendra's card challenge and be in for a chance to win some amazing prizes. Thanks again and until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Bye!